In this video, I will teach you how to make a baby robot in Blender in just 18 minutes. It is going to be beginner friendly, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by adding a reference image, and I'm going to use the Eve reference image from Wally -E for the base mesh. So press Shift A and add the reference, and you will find the image in the description. And then we need to press N and set the rotation to zero on all axis. And then let's press R, X, then 90 to rotate the reference image 90 degrees on the X axis. Then number one for front view, and then press S to scale the cube down. And then press G to grab the cube. And then S to scale. And then we need to add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons and to smooth out the object. So let's set it to 6. And then you can press S, then X to scale it on the X axis. And then S, then set to scale it on the Z axis. Then press Tab for edit mode and then Control R to add a loop cut. And we're going to add it around here. Now we need to go to face selection and press S to scale down the top face. And then press G then set to grab it on the Z axis. And then hold in Alt to select the uh, edge loop. And then press S to scale. And then we can do the same at the bottom. And then G then set to grab it on the Z axis. So something like this. And then before we continue, you can press tab to go back to object mode and then file, save as, and then you can save it wherever you want on the computer, give the file a name and then save. And then press shift S and then move the cursor to the selected object. And then next we can press shift A and add a cube and then press G then set to grab it on the set axis, S to scale it down. So just uh, scale and move the object until it fits the body in the reference image. And then we're going to use the same method. So we'll add a subdivision surface modifier, increase the number of uh, subdivisions. And then we can go to solid view, press tab for edit mode, and then press control R to add a loop cut. And then we can drag it to the top to make the top a bit flatter. And let's go to wireframe view, press uh, B to box select, and then let's press G, then set to grab them on the set axis. Okay, and then you can press S, then shift set to scale the object only on the X and Y axis. And then let's drag the uh, bottom face. Let's go to face selection, and then press G, then set, to grab it on the Z axis. And then you can also press S to scale it down. Okay, so now the model fits the reference image, as you can see. And to create another save, you can press Control Shift S, click on the plus sign, and then save. And then we can select the top face for the body and then press E to extrude, left click, then S. And then we're going to extrude inwards as well. So E to extrude, and then S to scale. And then to smooth up the uh, top edge, I'm going to uh, hold in Alt and select the edge loop, and then press G, then set to grab it on the Z axis. Okay, and then we can save one more time. And now the next step is to create the arms. So press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Then press number one for front view, press G to grab, and then S then set to scale it on the Z axis, and then S to scale. And then we can add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons and make it smoother. And then after we have added some subdivisions, we can press G to grab. And what we're going to do is to cut out the arms. So uh, press R to uh, rotate. And then G to grab. And then press S, then shift set twice 
to scale it only on the x and y axis locally to make it wider and then to add the other arm we can just add a mirror modifier and then use the body as the mirror object and then i can save one more time and then we need to apply the modifiers so that we can cut into the object so uh, apply and apply and then we're going to use a free add-on that's included in blender to slice out the arms so just go to edit preferences and then search for the bull tool and enable it and then go into edit and then bull tool and then hold in shift and select the body as well and then I'm just going to do a quick save in case something crashes and then slice out the arms. Okay. And then we need to separate the arms from each other. So press tab for edit mode, A to select everything, and then P and separate by loose parts. And then press tab for object mode again. And then we need to go to object, set origin, and then origin to geometry so that the origin matches the locations of these two objects. Okay, and then next we're going to add the eyes. So let's add a cube, shift A, and then S to scale it down. And then G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier and increase the number of polygons and then apply the modifier and then press tab for edit mode and shift alt s then one to turn it into a perfect sphere and then let's add some smooth shading to the different objects as well so objects and then shade smooth shade smooth and as you can see we get some shading issues for the uh, arms so what we're going to do is to select the objects, then go in to the object data properties, normals, and then enable auto smooth, which fixes the problem. And then we need to do the same for the arms. So auto smooth, auto smooth, and auto smooth for the eye as well. And then as to scale, now, the next step of this tutorial is to set up the lighting, the materials, and the render settings. So uh, let's drag the top right corner to add a new window, and then go into the shader editor, and then add a new material for the eye. And then we need to go into the render settings, switch to cycles, which looks better. And then use a GPU if you have one, if not, just keep using the CPU. I'm also going to increase the number of samples to increase the quality of the render. And then let's make the background transparent as well. As you can see, this is what it looks like in rendered view. I'm just going to save one more time before we continue. And then we're going to turn the light into a sun and set the strength to 5. And then press R twice to rotate freely. And then we're also going to add a background image to add some additional light. So uh, go to environment texture, open, and I will provide a link to free HDRIs in the description. So I'm going to select this one. And as you can see, we now have some uh, nice lighting. And then I'm going to press N to hide the uh, side panel and then we can select the eye and then delete this node so x to delete and then shift a to add and we're going to add an emission node and then connect emission to surface so that our object emits light and then press shift a and we're going to add a uh, gradient texture so that we can uh, create the eye and then connect factor to color and then set the type to diagonal okay and then we're just going to add a color ramp and by setting it to constant we can create the eye colors 
And then the rest is uh, pretty self-explanatory. You just add the uh, three colors that eyes consist of. And then by using the diagonal gradient texture, we get the eye. So um, let's uh, drag this one a bit closer to the left. And then create another one. And uh, this one is going to be the color of the uh, eye. So I'm going to make it blue, but you can of course add whatever color you want to. And then once you have the eye color set up, we can go to the next step of the tutorial. So uh, let's just save one more time before we continue. Click on the plus sign and then save. And then I'm going to press R then set to rotate the eye on the set axis. And then I'm pad one for a front view. Then R then set again to rotate it on the set axis, G to grab it. And then G and then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then to make the eye look a bit more interesting, we're going to duplicate the eye. And I press S to scale it up. So Shift D then S. And then change the material of uh, this object. And then turn it into a uh, glass object instead. Then we can decrease the roughness. I'm going to set it to 0.25. And so something like this. And then hold in shift and select both objects. And then we can press numpad one to go to the uh, front view. And then press shift D, then X to grab the duplication on the x-axis. And then select both of them, and press G, then X, to grab them both on the x-axis once again. Okay, so now we have the eyes, and I'm just going to save one more time before we continue. So Control shift s then save. And then next, we can add a new material to the body of the robot. Let's select uh, the head, for example. And then I'm going to increase the metallic value. So let's set it to 0.7. And then I recommend just uh, experimenting with the different values until you have a result that you like. And then next, we can play around with the arms. So press G, and then X to grab one of the arms on the X axis, and then press R, then Y to rotate it on the Y axis. And then press G, and then X, and then R, then Y to rotate it on the Y axis, and then R, and then X to rotate it on the X axis, and G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. Okay. And then next, I'm going to add the uh, material that we added uh, previously to the rest of the uh, robot. So just need to uh, add it on the uh, left side, like this. And then we have the material set up. Okay, so at this point, the tutorial is uh, pretty much done. But uh, if you want to, you can do some uh, small edits to the model and we're also going to add a serial number to the front of the robot and at the end of this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do a quick render so it's all pretty basic but uh, let's save one more time and then set up the uh, number okay so i'm going to move the 3d cursor to this area and then press shift a and add a text object, and then press R, X, the 90, then press G to uh, grab, and S to scale. And then next we can press tab, and edit the text, I'm going to write 3, and then tab to go back to object mode, S to scale, and uh, then we can change the font, 
So uh, just uh, choose whatever font you want. You can just experiment with the different fonts until you have a font that you like. And after testing a few of them, I ended up with the inner FXH regular font, which I think looks nice for this uh, robot. Then press number seven for top view, then R, then set to rotate it on the Z axis, and then G, then set to grab it on the Z axis. And then we need to convert this into a uh, mesh. So uh, go to object, convert to, and then mesh. And then we're going to use the shrink wrap modifier to wrap these numbers around the uh, body of the robot. And then I'm just going to uh, save one more time. And then we can apply the modifier. And then press tab for edit mode and then E to extrude so that it becomes three dimensional. Okay. And then next we can add a material to the numbers. You can of course add whatever material you want to and uh, give it whatever color you want to, but I'm just going to give it a uh, basic emission shader. And then increase the uh, strength. And then next, I'm just going to adjust the size and location of the eyes slightly. Okay, and then we can set up the uh, camera. So press Control Alt Numpad Zero to set the camera to the current point of view. Then press N and then lock the camera to view. And I'll set the camera around here. And then I'll turn on the noising as well and make the resolution squared. So I'm going to set it to 2160 squared so that it fits my 4K uh, video setup. And then save one more time. Okay. So, uh, I think everything is ready now. So let's go back to solid view, render, and then render image. And this is what it looks like. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more content like this.